One of my favorites of all time is that somehow Barb survived and she like moved to New York and started her own artisanal cheese shop. That just seems very Barb to me. Hipster Barb. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Shannon Purser. I'm here today with Team Vogue to answer some of your fan theories about Riverdale and Stranger Things. This one's by Lizzie77889. I have one big theory, Ethel Muggs is the love child of Mary Andrews. They look so similar, why? That would be awesome. Molly Ringwald is like my hero, so I would love to be her love child, but I don't think that's in the cards, I'm sorry. Shemberger. Riverdale is the upside down. They thought Barb was dead. She's been teleported to Riverdale, boom. Maybe. I feel like there would be like a lot more slime and like creepy creatures running around. Gross. But if Upside Down is Riverdale, then like, why would anyone want to leave? The response to the whole Barb phenomenon was wild. When I went in and did the job, I kind of thought that people would forget about her, but then the internet revolted and freaked out. A couple people even have tattoos, which is slightly terrifying. Wilhelm de Spooning. I think under Ethel's veil of innocence and kindness, there's a darkness, just as we've seen with every single other character. Is that true? Yes. It sort of just came naturally. I don't know what that says about me. I definitely support the idea that Ethel isn't 100% whom she seems to be. Also, actress Shannon Purser, who plays Ethel, loves horror. What would be better than playing a serial killer? Okay, fair enough. I do love horror. I love scary stuff. I don't know why. It's like an adrenaline thing, I guess. Mama Del Rey. <laughs> Benny Barb Bob. All souls that didn't deserve to die all started with B. It's a thing. Maybe the Duffer brothers have like some secret vendetta against anybody whose name starts with a B. But Muse the cat did die in season two. And that doesn't start with a B. You were saying? Four stroke engine. I'm thinking Chick may simply be a manifestation of Dark Betty that she needed to exist outside herself to hold her mind together. Wow, that's a really interesting one. But I feel like, I mean, other people have talked to Chick, although I guess that could also just hypothetically be like a hallucination of Betty's. Nancy River Drew. The Black Hood has said he is going after Riverdale sinners and he is interested in Betty, especially her dark side. This was most prominently shown in chapter three. For a second, we see Ethel peek her head around the corner and smile as Betty dunks Chuck's head into the water. She doesn't have much of a reaction when Betty lashes out at Chuck at the cafeteria in chapter 10. Dark Betty and Ethel, they're the same. I do think that like Ethel and, and Betty have a lot in common. They both feel overwhelmed by all the things going on in their lives. Like with Ethel, it's her dad and his mental breakdown that she's kind of dealing with. It's also interesting that when Betty goes to the abandoned house in Fox Forest, she finds the box with a hood inside and the box has a red bow around it. Ethel always wears a red bow in her hair. This is great, this person should be like writing for our show. I have never thought about any of these things. The red bow was definitely our showrunner's idea, Roberto. He is insistent that she wears it in every episode. There was one like holy grail red bow that they always kept very safe. But I think we actually just misplaced it. So you will be able to see like in one upcoming episode that I'm wearing a bow that's slightly different than all the other red bows. Ethel also calls the red circle when a vehicle keeps passing her. Perhaps she was testing their response time. She wasn't hurt at all and she doesn't have any information about the person driving or the car. Convenient. I mean, Ethel was very scared and it was super dark, you know? I, I don't think it's that out there that she didn't see who was driving the car. So, I mean, I'm a little biased. People really do kind of think the worst of her, <laughs> which is interesting, but she is creepy. Shinthers? Stranger Things fan theory. The upside isn't another dimension, it's the apocalyptic future. I have never thought about it that way before. Maybe so. I mean, we have like these weird like mutant creature things. So who knows? Who knows? Throw this away, 524. Barb isn't really dead. She time traveled through the upside down and came to present time. And now she lives in Riverdale. I love how everybody is like connecting Stranger Things and Riverdale together. Hashtag justice for Ethel. From like a science perspective, we haven't seen any evidence that the upside down is like a gateway through time. I don't know why she would choose that place of all places though. Barb is such a history nerd. She would have like gone back to ancient Rome or something. It's kind of wild how much time people spend, you know, like picking apart everything and looking for the clues. I don't think I've ever written out a fan theory, but I've definitely thought about it a lot. I've probably spent too much time thinking about TV shows. These are like all, I mean, they're all out there, but they are kind of rooted in reality. Come out with weirder theories. I want to hear them. I'm excited. <laughs>